Hello and welcome to this week's vlog from Madison's. Well, Zoopla uh, announced their latest house price data or house market update this week. Um, always really interesting reading to see what's going on with the portals. They certainly sit at the cutting edge of the property market, assessing that buyer demand, how many inquiries are they getting uh, versus against what us agents are listing and what's going sale agreed. Um, and yeah, it kind of echoes what I've been talking about simply that there is reduced stock, but still quite a lot of demand. So buyer inquiry levels are up by 13%. Uh, against this time uh, last year and in normal times. Uh, sales agreed up 8%. So again, more sales getting agreed than what you'd expect, but fewer listings, 12% less new properties come to market at the moment. And indeed stock levels overall 6% down on what they would normally be. The one area that's bucking that trend is London, where flats continue to be listed in their thousands as people are uh, upsizing for more space, trading for outside space, perhaps slightly further away from those key commuter areas when going to work in London might not be quite such a priority than access to that. Um, so why, why is that? Why are we seeing such reduced demand? Well, I think it's broadly because of this latest lockdown three. Sellers remain nervous and very cautious. There's a big message coming out that we should stay at home, that we should do all our part to stop the spread of the virus. And um, I think many therefore feel it's not the right time to list their property. It just doesn't send the right message out. And also they might be nervous themselves about strangers coming into their houses. So my gut feeling is as the lockdown eases and as we remove, move back probably more to regional tier restrictions, which will certainly be the phased exit from this lockdown, and hopefully the schools go back. Bad news yesterday, wasn't it? The earliest they're going to go back is the 9th of March. I have a four-year-old who I homeschool on a Friday. I feel the pain of every parent at the moment juggling work and uh, the schooling system. But I think when those children start to head back, uh, then demand will start to rocket. Um, and it will be interesting to see how much it rockets. And of course, caught up in that whole debate is the stamp duty deadline. Um, Zoopla estimate there are 70,000 sales which are currently agreed trying to meet that deadline and which will miss it. Um, they've got this really great graph, which I've just got up on the screen for you now. Um, Anybody who speaks to me will know that I always say that the stamp duty holiday certainly helped maintain the momentum of the market, but it was booming before that was announced. And if you look at this graph here, you'll see the purple line is the number of sales that were agreed. And it was already spiking massively before that stamp duty um, holiday deadline was announced at the tip of that peak in the 28th week. Um, and then those dotted lines show um, in normal times how long it would take to complete and therefore who would meet that end of March deadline, um, uh, which is that final black dotted line you see on the vertical axis on the right hand side there. And the green line is showing what we're working with now. There are enormous backlogs in the system. So at the moment, it's taking 120 days to complete, uh, on average, uh, a deal. That's four months, um, whereas normally it takes about 90 days. So, yeah, you can see from that there that um, all those people desperately trying to meet that deadline. But how the market was booming before that stamp duty holiday, which has certainly helped. But, uh, yeah, it was busy before. Well, um, I have got some new properties coming to market. Let's think about that for a minute. Uh, I've got a beautiful property that's just been listed in the heart of Speldhurst Village, a four bedroom detached with a lovely garden, um, lovely double um, garage, uh, beautifully presented, really great downstairs accommodation space on this one, great free flowing accommodation, great for a family. And that is on at a guide of 1.1 million. And then I've also launched a nice little flat in the center of town. It does have outside space. It's got a beautiful west facing balcony and that's in the prestigious Royal Wells Park development. That's on a guide of 450,000. If either of those of interest, do give me a call. And I've got masses of new ones coming to market um, to, to whet your appetite very soon. A beautiful five bedroom property on Warwick Park. Um, I've got a fabulous plot just outside Pembury, stunning views, planning permission granted for a beautiful Atcos barn, a big one. 
uh, that one. Um, I've also been instructed on a fabulous architecturally designed, grand designed contemporary property just outside Seven Oaks. Um, so lots of really lovely ones coming to market that we are launching either soon or going to be launching over the next sort of month or so. If any of interest, do give me a call. And finally, well, it's Valentine's Day in a couple of weeks. And next week, I'm going to talk to you about some top tips for a dine-in experience with Valentine's and the best places locally to get your meal of choice. But this week, I'd like to highlight the Mount Edgecombe. They've got a fabulous takeaway click and collect menu. Um, they are very close to me. They sit up on the common. They're a great place to go. In the summer, they've got an amazing outside space. In the winter, it's cozy and the food is always great. So um, if you want a click and collect meal before Valentine's, then check out the Mount Edgecombe. Do have a great week. Stay safe and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.